Scorpios. My Scorpios. How are y'all? This is going to be from December the 1st through the 15th. These are general reads. They will not resonate with every single Scorpio. However, if it does happen to resonate, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and share and subscribe. Oh, must be a lot going on with Scorpios. Let's see. I got cars flipping out everywhere. For December the 1st. Oh, December the 1st through the 15th. Hmm. What are y'all worried about? What message do you have for Scorpios? December 1st through the 15th. Scorpio. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the hangman. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces or things are on hold, okay? There could possibly be delays. Hmm. I just want to say this exactly how it came out, but I'm going to give it some time. Because I'm so, like, I like to read my cards exactly how they come out. But I don't want, sometimes I have to be careful how I don't say things. All right. So, the first card we have here is the Empress. Okay. So, some of you guys could be pregnant. Well, could find out that you're pregnant, but some of you guys could be dealing with the mother um, or some motherly energy, or there could be a, a woman in your life that you could possibly be dealing with, okay? Or this is you, Stand, sitting on your throne, okay? But the challenge is the king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Some of you guys could be dealing with the earth sign, but I feel as if there. this could also talk about your finances, okay? Or dealing with someone who's very business oriented. Let's see why the Empress is here. I'm just sensing like telling someone this not this not your house. Something about a mama's boy is what I'm getting out. I, I don't know. Um, clarify the Empress. All right, three of swords. Okay, so there could be, you could find out that there could possibly be a third party here. Here with this sun card, this is things coming to the light. Okay, so there could be third party energy here. Maybe you feel like, you know, we're not married here with this death card and the four of wands. Okay. Why is the three of swords here? I feel like there could be possible third party energy going on here. But the death card is the card of Scorpio as well. But this four of wands talks about stability, it talks about home life, um, it talks about family, and it also does talk about marriage here. Why is the four of wands here? I feel like not planning on being, I'm just sensing not planning, um, I don't know, I'm sorry, this is the three of wands, I thought this was the two of wands. Okay, so we got the three of wands, the four of wands, and the death card, which the death card is the card of Scorpio, but I feel like this is like waiting, waiting for things to get, to become stable. I feel like there could possibly be third party energy here. I, I'm just sensing that.
or maybe you feel like someone um, has someone else or there's other people involved. There's regrets here as well. And with this um, with this devil card at the bottom of the deck, this could be toxic energy, possibly have been put in a toxic situation, or there could have been a Capricorn involved, or there's sex here. Maybe some of you want to break up with someone or um, I'm sensing like either a breakup or there's third party energy. Um, you might don't may feel as if you're not waiting. Um, you don't want to wait for this person to um, I'm sensing like not waiting anymore. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but someone was being very cold-hearted in the past here with this King of Swords energy. It's very serious business right here. And it could possibly be in regards of someone moving on here with this Six of Swords. I feel like you're putting... You, you want to put in the effort or you have put in effort. You've tried to talk to someone here with this eight of pentacles here um, and this knight of cups as the clarifying energy. It's like you, you're, you're trying to explain or you're trying to communicate to someone here. This knight of cups. Okay, we got the King of Cups energy here. I feel like you, you're trying to express or explain yourself to someone. But I feel like future energy, we have the Knight of Wands. This is very player type energy, but this is definitely temporary back and forth energy. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces. As well, we have the High Priestess here. But this definitely does talk about secrets, things that are hidden. And I'm sensing a lot of like player type energy here. And I feel like we have the five of pentacles here. Now five of pentacles does talk about feelings of being left out in the cold. This could be in regards to finances. You could be um, hitting a financial strain here. But we have the three of cups as the clarifier. Why is the three of cups here? Maybe that you're wanting to um, keep friends out of your business or keep other people out of your business. Why is the three of cups here? We have the justice card, okay? So uh, trying to balance things out. But external to you, someone is hoping that you come back around or there's the reconciliation here. Because we have the star card, which is the card of Aquarius. This is having hope. Um, and the clarifying card is the six of cups, which talks about memories and reconciliation and coming back together. Okay. Maybe you want to spend some time alone. Um, but they're feeling um, as if they're hoping to reunite. I feel like there's definitely, some of you guys are definitely dealing with the Pisces, but I feel like um, there could definitely be things in the dark. I feel like you want to keep something a secret. You want to keep something hidden. But I feel like as an outcome, we have the five of wands, so there could definitely be conflict here. Conflict in regards to someone deciding that they want to be single. All right. Or there's issues of you doing things on your own. Maybe someone is codependent. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yep, we got the Emperor card. These same two cards came out for Pisces as well. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces. But this is definitely being in charge. Being in charge. Um, 
having control over being in control of whatever it is that you want, your desires. All right. So I feel like maybe some of you guys are deciding that you want to possibly take a break. Maybe there's third party energy involved here. And there definitely the challenge is because there are some regrets. OK, there's some mourning over something possibly from the past. I feel like you're done waiting or you, you're not wanting to um, build or um, take things to the next level with this person. Maybe some of you guys have decided that you are going to um, move on here with the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? All right, we got the Two of Swords. So maybe there's indecision on whether or not if you want to move on or whether or not where you were going to go or how you were going to do it. Um, but I definitely sense that maybe you have tried to communicate this um, with someone that you are possibly, you know, wanting to take a break or time apart from, from the situation. Um, but I'm definitely sensing so there's secrets here. There's something hidden here. There's something in the dark. For some reason, Scorpio, y'all cards are just flying everywhere. What messages do you have for Scorpio in love for December 1st through the 15th? some healing work that needs to be done and there's possible separation here so let's take a look i gonna pull a few clarifiers just give me clarifiers for Scorpio this is going to be for December the 1st through the 15th please please give me clarifiers Yeah, I feel like there's definitely a sense of needing to heal a situation. Um, look at a situation more positively here with this sun card. I feel like this is saying that there's going to be definitely healing um, a situation here. And it possibly could involve family. Family could be involved in a situation. Okay, but there's separation here as your second card. Um, time apart from your partner is on the horizon um, and it possibly could be some of you guys could be dealing with the Capricorn or this situation is toxic 